out one of these George Foremans that's on steroids. The biggest one you can get. I find that these are the best at doing chicken quesadillas. Now you're going to notice there's cheese there, yet I'm not doing anything with it yet. reason why is I like to make some serious thick quesadillas that when you go to a restaurant and you order a quesadilla and they look, where's the chicken? Not the case with these, all right? Fill it in a little around the edges. Now that is a quesadilla. That's a nice quesadilla. I fold it in half, get it off the surface tuck the meat in. Now, as you can tell, right now, I don't even have this thing on. I'm just prepping. This is the prep work. Try not to drop it. Oops, sorry, that was shoulder. Confined quarters. All right. Pull it in half. Meat in. Now this is a quesadilla. This is why I don't go out to a restaurant and order a quesadilla. Because they don't do this. You can only do this at your house. I. That's what I'm talking about. Now that is quesadillas. Now, I want to hit pause. I'm going to close these, turn it up. Make sure that the top lip exceeds, extends over the bottom because when you put this down, it pushes it out. Let's get this out of the way. And we'll hit pause and we'll come back. All right, there's my lean, mean, fat grilling machine. And there's a lot of smoke coming off of it. That's why the fan's on it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. This is a very important tool for quesadillas. These things are very hot. I'm going to show you what the other side looks like. Perfect. You want to put them at a slight angle. And... Oh, very hot, very hot, very hot, very hot. You want to take them, try to put the chicken back in, and place them at an angle. They're nice and crispy. Very nice. Now, if you're doing just two, it seems like a waste because you got this one all hot and bothered. So you might as well do two more because those two over there have to cool down. And it's almost time to cheese them. So I'm going to do two more. Looking good. And after you add some more chicken here. You notice the technique that I'm using? I prevent it from falling onto the burning hot George Foreman grill. Again. You can hear as the chicken hits the grill, it's sizzling. Very hot. All right. There we go. Now we want to tuck the chicken in again. Ow. Do not touch the grill, it is very hot. Ow. There we go. One more. We'll slide this one over a little. Now these are the ultimate chicken quesadillas. This is not restaurant quality. This is... Hey, I want a lot of chicken in here. I'll make it some extra because I did get a request. Somebody is begging. Ow! Probably easier to do these on a plate first. But these are almost an inch thick. So, all right. We need to fill in over here a little. Here. There we 
go. Perfect. Tuck the knee in. Push it down, flatten it. That one looks good. Center it. Tuck it in a little bit more. Okay, it's time to close the lid one more time. Oops. All right, we're gonna come back over to these ones I just did. And I wanna show you something very important. When opening these, these are extremely hot. You wanna open them with the knife like this. Oh, look at every, all that steam. Now you add the cheese. Good thing I don't have a camera that says when you say cheese, it takes a picture. Because I'm shooting video. Okay, that looks good. We're going to close it back up, push the cheese in. And as soon as that other one's done, we're going to pop these in, cheese them up a little bit. We need a little more cheese there, right? Fold, push down. Push everything in. Oops. Flip it around. Remember what I said about that knife. There you go. Cheese it up. Don't worry. It's not going to give you a heart attack. This is white, extra sharp cheddar cheese. If you're going to have a quesadilla, you got to put cheese. Sorry. There you go. Taco Bell, you got nothing on me. Alright, we're going to push it down right now as it's closed. Pushing everything back in. Oops, crispy. Mmm, succulent. All right, these are gonna go back in there. Yeah, give another minute or two. We're gonna get another plate. And we're gonna do it one more time. look like they're good to go. Notice this one over here. The nice thing about the George Foreman is once you get to move. You notice this one right here folded back. The other one didn't. Alright. We're going to swap them out. Get those a minute to cool. We're going to melt some of that cheese. Cheese, please. Doesn't take long, trust me. All right, go like this, push all the meat down, open it up. You're going to see steam. Cheese it up. These are the most boom banging chicken quesadillas on YouTube. All right, here we go. To all you haters, don't care. All right, push the meat down, cheese it up. Ooh, look, I got a lot more cheese. This was two or three blocks, I forget. I made other things with this, so it doesn't really matter. I guess the today, yesterday, the day before, I'm in a cheese mode. And maybe my body is craving calcium or cheese or fat. 
right, shove it down. All right, the ones that are in there right now, I'm almost positive cheese is oozing out of them. I'm gonna stick these in. I'm gonna pull the George Foreman plug out. And these are, there we go. These are done. Oh, look. Oh, man, if you were here and you could smell this, amazing. Now, the most important thing when you're plating these, well, you can see all the cheese is melted. All right. What you want to do is you want to give it the angle. These are, here, hold on. I got to shut this off. Quiet. There we go. I love quiet. Ready? Listen. Toasty, crispy. Oh. This is what heaven is like. You look forward to something. All right. Look how thick that is. Come on. You got to be kidding me. Where am I going to go to a restaurant and get this? Look at that. This is what is wrong with this world. I'd like to thank my uncle for teaching me how to be the best of the best of the best. Love you, uncle. I can't even say his name. It's disgusting. All right. Hope you enjoyed this. Do you want me to wait? Hold on. This one right here. We got more cheese or something else. I think I'm going to do some burritos. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to do some burritos. I got some beans. Refried beans. Uh, we'll bring that up when I do that. We'll lid this. I have more. Ch another chicken to pull tomorrow. And. Hey, go to Chipotle. They make this, that, the other thing. Guess what? I went to Costco and they gave me a pretty good deal. I was going to buy some avocados. They were on sale. Instead, look at this. Thank you, God. I don't think there's preservatives. I already threw it out. There's nothing like dipping those into that. You don't want to do these with sour cream. That's like going to hell. Uh, we'll give those another minute. Oh, it smells so good. Holy guacamole, I think they call that. Now, when I was younger, three, my grandfather taught me how to do it the right way. You take a red onion, not a lot of red onion. And you cut it into real little small pieces. And you take the fork and you go into the avocado and you whip it right in the shell. Throw it into the bowl, mix it up with the chopped red onions. That is guacamole to me. But there's so many different techniques you have no idea. All right, remember, I'm going to turn this over. It's been sitting here for a while. Ready? Listen. It's still toasty. I didn't lay it flat onto the plate. I left air in between so it would like not get soggy. Very key. All right. Here crunchiness. I took a piece of the tortilla and I munched on it. All right. These are done. I'm going to put these on top of the two done and welcome to JB's for chicken quesadillas I hope you like this look there's my dinner I don't think you could buy one of these anymore but red copper guess what there's all kinds of things I want with red copper on it I love you love you